started eating before I actually video video this to show you guys what I was doing for my first meal for week three. Um, and this is just an avocado open face sandwich with over easy egg. Um, well, I think I kind of cooked them over medium, but it has smashed avocado with cooked carrots, uh, cooked zucchini, and just salt and pepper. Super simple, um, nothing crazy. And I am drinking that with my GT's Synergy Strawberry Serenity Kombucha. Um, so yeah, that is the first meal for week three. So I'm gonna meal prep the um, the chicken for the week, and then I'm going to be making chicken bone broth, um, which I'll be showing you guys later how I do that. But yeah, it, I've got the chicken bone broth I'm gonna be making because tomorrow I'm gonna be making my chicken and veggie detox soup. So that's what all of this is for um, for the rest of the week. So let me show you how I do that real quick. Um, when I put it in the oven. So you place um, about a tablespoon of flour inside the bag so that way when it's cooking, because you're gonna have it closed up, it's not gonna burst inside of the oven because it's gonna get hot, it's gonna swell. Yeah, not a good situation. Okay, so I had to put them in two separate bags because the bags weren't big enough. You know, I didn't get the turkey bags, I just got regular meat bags. So I put the vegetables inside and I also put the vegetables on the outside, closed them up, tucked it under, put the oven on for 400 degrees and cooked them for about an hour and a half or until they reach 165, whichever comes first. But uh, yeah, let's get these bad boys in. biceps and triceps day two for week three and yeah so I just got that done while my chicken was cooking so let's go check on that chicken see if it's done hopefully it is and yeah I can't wait to dive into that but let's go check it out <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna let that sit there and cool and once it's done cooling I'm gonna shred it up and then I'm gonna take the bones and I'm going to make chicken homemade chicken bone broth um, And it is so good. I did this with a turkey for Thanksgiving and it turned out so good um, And I'm gonna use that base for the chicken soup So let's let that cool down for a bit and then I will show you dinner and how I make my bone broth two full chickens um, one I'm going to freeze so we can do meals for later in the week um, just because you know you don't want to keep chicken in um, the fridge cooked for longer than two days um, without being frozen and then so this tomorrow is for tomorrow this is going to be for the soup that I'm gonna be making the veggie and chicken soup and this is for tonight this is gonna be for the chicken um, zucchini zucchini pesto pasta 
Um, that's what all this chicken is for tonight. And then for my bone broth, so all the bones are in here and I just added whatever vegetables that were cooking with the chicken and then add an extra um, fresh veggie. So more carrots, more onions, garlic, celery, um, and some more herbs. So that's all gonna be coming out the flavor profile of the chicken broth that I am going to be using tomorrow for the soup. So this is the bone broth. I put it in a huge pot um, and I put the water almost to the very top. Um, I'm leaving boil room, but this is going to boil and then simmer roughly up for up to for like 15 hours but it probably i probably won't let it go that long but it's gonna be simmer, simmering for quite a few hours so that is how you make bone broth and i will show you the finished product once it's done here is dinner so i did zucchini pesto pasta with chicken olives um tomatoes cucumbers yeah it is just goodness <laughs> Um, so basically I use the shredded chicken from the roasted chicken that I showed you earlier That is gonna be being used all week long for all the different recipes and yeah That is dinner So this pot was put on for probably a good 15 hours and all I'm doing is I'm straining it in a double strainer so this right here is going into this strainer right here and then it's just going into this bucket as like a holding tank. But all of that stuff that's in there, it's all going to be discarded. Like I don't need it anymore. But look at how much liquid is still in there that I have to drain out and separate. So yeah, just getting ready to throw that out just because it's kind of clogging up that when it's going in there. And yeah, but look at all of that bone broth right there. That is just a ton of bone broth. Half of it, or probably three quarters of it, is going to be used for the soup that I'm going to be making. So that's going to be extra yummy, and I cannot wait for that. That is going down tomorrow. Okay, so that's the triple the the triple method I was showing you. Um, so this is just to really catch all the like, little extra stuff. That. I want every drop of this wonderful elixir. And the great thing about bone broth is it has so many healing properties. It's really good for the, di the digestive system. And especially if you have like leaky gut, it, it helps to coat the inner lining of your of your intestines. And it just really helps kind of re start to repair it, you know, all those healthy fats and whatnot. All the goodness that leaches out of the bones and, and the vegetables that are in there, all, the, all of the uh, spices and whatnot. So yeah, it is just so good for you and that's why I like doing it. Hey, it's time consuming. It's definitely time consuming. And of course you can buy it, but I prefer homemade. Homemade everything where I can, where I can make homemade stuff and it's fairly simple. So yep, that is a ton of bone broth. Yummy. <laughs> these Mediterranean snack boxes and I used to do this all the time because there are gonna be times where you're on the go and you can't you know get something healthy to eat or you know you're just not so hungry to um, have a full meal but you just want something to kind of snack on these snack boxes are perfect for that because you know you can just pick and choose what you want you know whatever you're in the mood for if you want to eat it all that's great you know it still kind of works as a as a little snack meal um, but yeah, I love these snack boxes. They are perfect. It is day three. Well, technically it's day five, but it's day three of my workout um, for week three. And, um, you know, I think I'm just really not feeling doing the workout at home tonight. Yeah, I just kind of feel like a change of scenery is what I need right now. So I'm going to head to the gym. I created a whole new workout routine 
specifically for the gym for um, the core work tonight. And it's all for the most part gonna be using the cable machine. So I'm really excited to see how this workout kind of works together. So yeah, let's head over to the gym before they decide that they want to close. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. Today, I, uh, I actually went and got a membership over at 24 Hour Fitness, so now I'm a member at two gyms um, because I want to start getting back into the pool. I want to start swimming. I haven't surfed in probably, like, this is, like, probably going on two weeks now. Um, before, it was just, you know, really windy, and it was, like, probably gale force winds, 30, 40 miles an hour, and it was like that for a couple days. And then as soon as the winds left, there was literally no swell. Like it has been flat all week long. So I haven't been able to surf whatsoever at all. And like my goal was to surf three days a week, you know, weather permitting, conditions permitting. So seeming as how like obviously, you know, surfing is really a finicky sport. It's all based off of weather. I want to get back in the pool and be able to swim on the t on the days or the weeks that I can't surf. So um, that's why I got a membership at 24 Hour Fitness. I'm going to get back in the pool. So back in high school, I used to be a competitive swimmer. I was on the varsity team in my high school. Um, and then I used to play water polo too. But swimming was like my jam. And so I'm just getting back into that. And yeah. So let me show you. So I got all of my stuff. I'm going to show you my um, my swimsuit and everything. It's, it's a competitive swimsuit. It's not like like the cutest thing ever but yeah total guru over here that's okay I'll, I'll, I'll take that title here it is I literally went to three different stores to find this particular swimsuit now after being in competitive swimming for so long I already know what kind of swimsuit I like and what doesn't work what works what lasts for a little while and the TYR swimsuit is like the one that works for me um, and the other stores they did not have the exact swimsuit that I needed like it was just they just don't work um so yeah finally after three different stores found the what I wanted um same thing with the goggles you know like I said after being in competitive swimming for so long I just already know what I liked and it's been a long time since I've been a competitive swimmer but you know what you like when you when you find it you know what I mean think tonight I'm probably gonna go to the gym do a little bit of a hit workout and then get in the pool and just swim some laps and go from there because yeah it's just nice to get back to where I used to be and this is a size 38 I used to be a size 32 to 34 and granted that was like when I was like 17 years old but it is what it is we got some work to do that's what this is all about and I'm really excited to get back into it Okay, so I am here at the new gym that I signed up for today. And you know, the funny thing is it's not really like a new gym per se to me because I used to go to this gym when I was in high school. So after I would have a swim practice or water polo practice, I would come here, work out, and spend another two hours in the pool just practicing and, and really um, just getting faster and faster. Like I was really into it. So it's kind of funny because as an adult, I feel like I'm coming full circle to what I used to do in high school. That's kind of neat, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go in right now. I'm going to do about 10 minutes on the elliptical. I'm going to do my Tabata workout and then I'm going to hit the pool, probably do about 20 to 30 laps just to kind of see where I'm at. You know, again, this is really foundational. So I really want to see what I'm capable of and uh, and yeah just you know because I'm obviously nowhere near where I used to be when I was in high school I'm just gonna get to it and yeah I'll bring you guys along I'm somewhere in the middle try to find myself again but life is one big riddle of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it
look at that eyeliner. It is from 100% Pure. I went swimming in it, I took a shower in it, and it is still almost just as perfect as when I put it on. Oh my gosh, I swear by this stuff, you guys. It is 100% natural, there's no chemicals, no synthetic material. It's just 100% pure ingredients, and it works so well. I love this stuff. Okay, so just got back from the gym. I did 20 laps in the pool, and it about killed me. Like, I'm definitely, it's a good place to start, but I definitely have some work to do. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat my snack box that I made. Um, and it's just grapes, olives, uh, eggs, gluten-free pita pocket, and um, some red bell pepper hummus. I'm gonna eat this up. I'm gonna heat up some the chicken soup, the chicken veggie soup that I made yesterday for dinner. Um, and then I'll probably make a protein shake and that should suffice for tonight. But again, I cannot get over how well this 100% pure <laughs> eyeliner is, and I will put it in the description below exactly what it is that I'm using in case you're interested or in case you want some, want you know, want to buy some, but yeah, it is so perfect. Like, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't, you know, get everywhere. It just, it once you put it on and it dries, it stays put. And I, like, literally, you guys, I went swimming. I had goggles on, and it still looks just as good. I love this thing. I am a lifer for that eyeliner. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. Okay, so let's get into the week three conclusion and stats and all of that good stuff. Um, so for week three, I think I did really, really good. I'm so happy with this week. And it, you know, it just felt like I was so on point with everything. The meals were absolutely delicious. You know, we were able to eat at home most of the time when normally we go out to eat. So it, it was really nice just making food at home. And I love to cook. Um, I love to create meals and all that. I just don't ever have the time. So. I really enjoyed doing all of that. And then um, just all the workouts, I was just, it was like hitting everything. I was going hard on everything. And it just, it just felt really nice feeling like I was so focused and on point this week. Um, this week was really awesome for that. Um, getting into the stats. So I didn't lose any weight this week, but I did lose 4.25 inches, which you guys, that's still pretty dang good. Now, for as far as the weight goes, you know, it's not that I'm not losing fat, it's just that I'm also gaining muscle at the same time. So that's why I really stress that it's important to take your measurements along with your weight on the scale because, you know, you're still seeing where you're making progress or that you are making progress. So I think that's just really important to point out. Now, compared to the very beginning to this, to, to, like today, to this, this past week, I've lost three pounds and 10 inches. That's about a pound a week, which is actually really good because I want this to be slow, sustainable. I want to be creating really healthy habits. Um, and I want this to be more of a lifestyle than a quick fix. And a lot of people, when they go into working out, they want to like figure out, how to lose weight as fast as possible. That's not exactly always healthy, nor is it sustainable. Um, so I'm not gonna get into the specifics of that or why, because that's not what this video is about, but it's just one of those things where, for me, my goals and what I am setting out to accomplish, that is really, really good for me right now. So I'm really happy, like this week has been absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with how everything has turned out, like how I programmed everything for myself this week, it's just been so on point and I could not be happier. <laughs> so that just concludes this week three video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see future videos from me, please subscribe and you know hit that bell for notifications because it'll let you know when I upload new videos. And definitely if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps to support my channel. So I would ve very much appreciate that. Um, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. And uh, until the next video, see you then.